everybody, this is Chris Trainer from Bush. I'm here for Guitar World Sick Riffs. I am going to show you the intro to Bush's latest song, Flowers on a Grave. Before I get started, I just want to reach out, say hello to my guitar community. Hope you're all doing well. I know that as guitar players, we are used to self-isolating, but probably not this much. And um, everybody suffers in a different way, but in a lot of ways, we're in this together. So i um, thinking of everybody out there practicing, hoping that you're getting some good practice in and keeping your head on straight, learning some new stuff, experimenting with new sounds. So about this song, the intro to this song, this song is tuned in drop D. For those of you who don't know what that means, it's quite simply taking the standard tuned guitar and taking the low E string and dropping it down to D. Um, and you get a sound like this. So this um, song, the opening riff, is played um, F, open D, C bar chord, A chord. So uh, playing a bar chord on drop D is just as simple as laying your finger down. And right there we have on the third fret is an F bar chord in drop D. So we're going from F to D to a C bar chord on starting on with the root on the A string. That's the third fret on the A string. And then the open A chord. So the riff goes. Now the lead line that goes over the top of that is basically a D minor pentatonic run. The song is in D minor, and as guitar players, we kind of tend to gravitate towards the minor pentatonic. The minor pentatonic box for D starting on the fifth fret is... So that's um, D, F, G, A uh, are, the, are the notes in the D minor pentatonic that we're using for this lead line. And instead of playing across the guitar this way, I'm going to play up the neck this way. And as I play up the neck, the D minor, minor pentatonic riff up this neck, I'm going to do the riff in an octave, which is basically this shape, which you get from um, playing a D on the fifth fret of the A string and then a high D on the seventh fret of a G string. So that gives you kind of that classic bush sound. And so the riff is um, fifth fret, eighth fret, tenth fret, twelfth fret. Five, eight, ten, twelve, twelve. Five, eight, ten, twelve, ten, eight. Um, Awesome. So this is a pretty easy riff to play and it's kind of a fun one to play along with the track. We've had a lot of people sending into our Instagram, Bush official Instagram, or my Instagram is ct3guitar, and sending us in their cover versions of this song. It's really cool. It's, uh, it's an easy song for rock players to play. It's a fun one to play, and I always appreciate um, it's good to try to learn stuff that's difficult to play, but sometimes it's really fun to just learn something like this and jump in and play right away. I know you can do it. All the best. I'm practicing with you. Um, send me your covers of this song. Thanks to Guitar World for doing this and getting the word out about musicians being in isolation. Thank you to Universal Audio for hooking me up with a small device to uh, in order to be recording these videos. And thank you, as always, to uh, Gibson Guitar for a lifelong, um, lifelong support. All the best. Take care.